lights out and away we go. Bottas gets away well. He's alongside Lewis Hamilton and he's making a good progress. And their back is there, Danny Ricciardo, losing his front wing going into turn one. Not another pinched up drama for us in Australia. He's getting closer, Max Verstappen and Sebastian Vettel. Verstappen moves up into third place. He knows that he's the number one in Albert Park today. It's Valtteri Bottas who wins the Australian Grand Prix. Here we go then, it's the first night race of the season and we are here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Welcome along to round two of 21 Grand Prix in the 2019 Formula One season. Valtteri Bottas got it all right and bagged a fastest lap as well for the first race in Australia. Mercedes on the second row and on the back foot against Ferrari here in Bahrain this weekend. The name Bahrain coming from the Arabic, Al Bahrain. And Bahrain had the first post oil economy in the Persian Gulf. It's where they first discovered oil and started producing it as well. We go to Shanghai next. You can fit the Kingdom of Bahrain into that city eight times over. Soft tyres with a red stripe, medium tyres, about nine tenths of a second slower per lap with a yellow stripe. The hard tyre, 1.9 seconds slower per lap, but lasting longer and with the white stripe as well. Expect high degradation. It's an abrasive surface, the tyres sliding around. Here's the grid then, second youngest and the youngest pole sitter ever in Formula One. Sebastian Vettel did his in 2008. Leclerc did his last night. Lewis Hamilton out qualifying Valtteri Bottas. First time the Finn's been beaten by a teammate here in Bahrain. Max Verstappen starts in the top five for the first time ever here alongside Kevin Magnussen. Carlos Sainz for McLaren alongside Kimi Raikkonen for Alfa Romeo. Twice he's won from outside of the top seven here. Lando Norris and Daniel Ricciardo make up row five. Two McLarens in the top ten. For the first time since 2017, Roman Grosjean with a three-place grid penalty now keeps Alexander Albon company in the Toro Rosso. Pierre Gasly, a disappointing qualifying for him in the Red Bull, alongside Sergio Perez in the racing point. Daniel Kvyat, twice has scored points from outside the top 10, is 15th on the grid alongside Giovinazzi. Hulkenberg had engine mapping issues and has Lance Stroll for company as they were knocked out in Q1. And Williams, who co-hold the record for the most front row lockouts in Formula One, along with Ferrari and McLaren, making up the back row again, Martin Brundle, on a blustery, blustery night. It's more Ilkley, more Bartat out there than it is the middle of the desert. Yeah, they would call it a fen blow in Norfolk, but it's almost a sandstorm out there, and I know all the drivers are concerned about just uh, how windy it is and how exposed it is, particularly out the back of the, the circuit. We don't, I mean, it feels, it feels windy here, I must say, in the pit straight, but you're well protected by the grandstands, of course. Uh, and the, the pit lane, uh, uh, it, it is going to be a very much a part of the race. And the drivers are pretty nervous about it. You spoke to Charles Leclerc on the grid, Martin. I am staggered that a man so young can be so calm on what is such a big night in his racing career. And he does look calm, and he's very methodical, he's clear in his head what he's thinking. Interesting that Lewis Hamilton bolted off the dummy grid yeah. to get in Leclerc's mirrors there and uh, test him out a little bit. They've got a very, uh, this looks like a fun lap in many respects that they're, you know, just getting ready for the race, but it's a very prescriptive thing they have to do now. Mercedes quite happy to admit that this should be a two-stop race, but since when did any Formula One team want to admit what the strategy was before they went into the race? Two weeks ago in Melbourne, that man there, Mattia Bonotto, was shaking his head. Ferrari's pace had disappeared. They brought it back and some so far here in Bahrain this weekend. Leclerc's pointing slightly left look down at the front there, as if he wants to head completely down the left-hand side of the track. Slightly surprised by that, that he's not gearing up to cover. You can see his car is pointing slightly left, can't you, from there, yeah. from uh, onboard Lewis Hamilton. And he's got 346 metres to navigate into turn one. There's a lot more dust on that left-hand side of the grid as well. Pole position for Leclerc. What happens from here on in? It slides down the way we go. I think Two Mercedes 
Mercedes with Bottas on the inside, going wheel to wheel through the first corner. Leclerc gets a little bit squeezed. Sebastian Vettel leads from Leclerc from Bottas and Hamilton. Then comes Max Verstappen and the fast starting Carlos Sainz ahead of Kevin Magnussen. A lot of sparks there. Someone's got some damage, and I think it's a racing point of Sergio Perez in the midfield. We'll find out in a moment. Bottas up to second. Valtteri Bottas ahead of Charles Leclerc. Lewis Hamilton now pressing Leclerc.
does Raikkonen get the DRS? Oh, yes, he does. No, he didn't. Norris still had it. Norris still had the DRS open at the detection point. Red Bull have pulled Verstappen out of that potential problem, but once again, Martin, does this now start to trigger uh, a few earlier pit stops further up the road? Long stop again, wasn't it, there? So, uh... 4.7 seconds. Danny Kvyat ahead of Alex Albon at the moment, battling for 12th and 13th, but look, Raikkonen has put himself right in the DRS zone here. It's kind of looks like trouble somewhere, doesn't it? <laughs> Danny Kvyat and Kimi Raikkonen scrapping away on the track as Lewis Hamilton comes in for a pit stop, and Raikkonen tries to go down the inside of Alex Albon. Hamilton's pit stop, 2.5 seconds. Uh, consistent job being done by the Mercedes pit crew there. Raikkonen gets a much better exit on those fresher tyres. He's now got Danny Kvyat to have a look down at Kvyat. Oh, opens the door, says, do you want to come in, Kimi? And Kimi says, oh, I don't need a second invitation for a party. Thank you very much indeed. Sebastian Vettel, who comes in first, no surprises there. Uh, to cover off Mercedes Ferrari, not leaving it any longer than they had to, to get in Quick. and get a new set of the medium compound tyre on. Are the Ferrari pit crew up to the job? They certainly are. 2.4 seconds for Charles Leclerc. Valtteri Bottas rounds the final corner. Uh, Leclerc at 80 kilometres an hour. Down the pit straight he goes, he's come in and he's come out and he's kept hold of the lead. Behind is Valtteri Bottas, behind him, Sebastian Vettel closing in on him. Lewis Hamilton has just set the fastest lap of this race. Bottas locks up and his uh, tyres getting to the end of their life. But Hamilton now is going to seize up and size up Sebastian Vettel and have a go at the Ferrari, you think. We're on board now with DRS assistance as we head towards turn four. Hamilton's gaining, gaining. Which way is he going to go? The long way round. He's wheel to wheel with Sebastian Vettel. He's almost off the track. They're plunging down the hill. And for one moment, I thought they touched once again. A Ferrari and a Mercedes. Sebastian Vettel just holds on to that third place. Stunning precision there. They've both got DRS, yeah, because Vettel stays ahead. Through the detection point, Bottas was giving Vettel some DRS. I thought Lewis might be a bit closer to him coming off the final corner. Here we go again. DRS wide open, this time it's only Hamilton. Vettel wonders where he's going. Hamilton goes round the long way, round the outside once again. He's off the track oh, once right. again, and Sebastian Vettel's lost it. Coming out of turn four, Lewis Hamilton gets past and moves up into second place, and Sebastian Vettel is left spinning and disconsolate in the middle of the track. I think he's left for his damage. I think he'll have to come in. And that... Has he ripped the surface? Has has he gone through to the carcass of that left rear tyre? He just gave it a boot full of throttle and the rear tyres couldn't cope with the demand. So this is the exit of the corner. And that is a sight that Sebastian Vettel and his fans don't want to see. Damage that left rear tyre, and his front wing's gone for good his measure. Front wing has gone, the front left tyre damaged, the rear tyres as well, immediately calling to the team to shout box, box, box. Charles Leclerc sets a new fastest lap of the race. Sebastian Vettel's front wing is left by the side of the track. Lewis Hamilton's into second place. Yeah, so he's, he's has he had another incident somewhere then? Well, here comes the Williams then of, uh, of Kibitza. And, and there, there it just goes. goes. Ooh, it's really scary when he does that. So he's clearly damaged the front wing on the curb. As not only the Red Bull of Pierre Gasly goes past, but Hulkenberg and Ricardo as well in the Renaults. Ricardo locks up and they touch the two Renaults as well as Hulkenberg squeezes his way past Danny Ricardo in the battle for sixth place. There was definitely contact there between the two teammates and we might get some again because Ricardo's going for it. Down into turn four they run and Ricardo just failing to get alongside Nico Hulkenberg. Lando Norris on Daniel Ricciardo. Ricciardo saw his teammate dancing around the outside of the turn one. He's now seen Lando Norris do it as well. Kimi Raikkonen is waiting uh, to see what he can pick up from this particular battle. Well done, Lando Norris. Up in the seventh place. Ricciardo's coming back at him. Norris still gets a burst of uh, DRS there uh, to keep ahead. And still uh, Kimi Raikkonen uh, behind the both of them. Kimi Raikkonen now on Daniel Ricciardo, who's seeing a lot of cars uh, passing him. Not on an ideal strategy here in Bahrain, trying to uh, make it work for a one-stopper. 
and he's been passed there by Kimi Raikkonen fairly easily in the Alfa Romeo. That's the race leader under pressure from the racing point. No, it isn't. That's the race leader lapping Sergio Perez. There's something straight through the engine. Oh. Okay, copy that. We are checking it. There's something straight through the engine. Oh no. I hope not. Uh, I hope that's just the, the worry of a man leading his first Formula One Grand Prix. There are tense moments at McLaren. Can Lando Norris fight off Kimi Raikkonen? Raikkonen's going to have to go a long way round here. Norris parks that orange McLaren in exactly the right place. Battled his way back into the lead. Is soon going to be passed for the lead by Lewis Hamilton. And the heartbreaking thing is there is nothing, Martin, he can do to stop the inevitable. So slow, isn't he? He's got no power. Lewis won't want to go up the inside of that particular corner, and he doesn't need to. Leclerc's a sitting duck. So Lewis Hamilton down towards the final corner, takes the lead of the Bahrain Grand Prix. <laughs> You'll hear more from Nico uh, with Simon and the gang after the conclusion of this Grand Prix, which has been led for so long by Charles Leclerc. He's still in the top three, but only just at the moment. The yellow flag being waved in sector one. It's car number 27. It's Nico Hülkenberg in the Renault. Now, he's gone off into the runoff area, I think, at the end of the straight. And I wonder oh, what's Ricardo happened there. Daniel well. Ricciardo's there as well. Both cars are one lap. Now, is this mechanical? problem or have they come together again I only ask that because they have done previously in this race and safety car has been deployed as well which might come to oh. Charles Leclerc's aid a little bit because if those cars aren't recovered and we have a safety car to the end of the race Charles Leclerc might just keep hold of third place uh, it's been a rather more complicated race here in Bahrain this evening but the result is, it's a Mercedes 1-2 again. Lewis Hamilton wins the Bahrain Grand Prix. Valtteri Bottas comes home in second place. Charles Leclerc gets his first podium in Formula One. It should have been his first victory, but it was cruelly taken away from him through no fault of his own. Get in there, Lewis. That was a hell of a race. That was an awesome drive. There's some lovely overtakes there, mate. Well, guys, that was extremely unfortunate for, for Charles. He drove such a great race. We've got work to do to try and keep these guys in our tails.